Hey guys, what's up and welcome to iCore. So in this video, we are going to learn how to add images to our iOS app. So let's just see how to do it. Open up Xcode and create a new project. Go to file, new, project. And we'll be working with single view application. So tap on next and let's just name this something like adding images, adding images and make sure that the language you selected is Swift. Tap on next and save this on desktop. Now quickly jump over to main.storyboard and let me just select iPhone SE. iPhone SE. Now to add an image to your iOS app, we are going to be needing an image view. So we can find image view in our object library. So let's just go to object library right at the bottom and type in image view in the search box. Image view and there you go. Drag it onto your screen and place it somewhere here maybe. Right here. Yeah. You can resize this as well. Maybe like yeah. Now to add an image to this image view all you need to do is go to content pane and tap on this drop down and select an image so tap on this drop down and there you can see that we have got no images to select because we didn't yet add any images to this xcore project so that we could select an image for this image view so let's just get an image from the internet so go to google chrome or any of your favorite browser so google.com google.com yeah images and let me search for disney and there you go so tap on the image control click to save this image control click and save image as and name this something like disney and save this on desktop now that the image is saved Let's get this image to our Xcode project. Tap on the finder and drag this image to our Xcode project. So close this, finish. And there you go. This is the image that we have just downloaded. So go to main.storyboard. Main.storyboard. Make sure that the image view is selected. Go to content pane menu and tap on this drop down and there you go now you can see disney.jpg so select this image and now you can see this image on your screen app screen well if you observe this image is not perfectly stretched so to make this image look good and beautiful we have got two options one to resize the image manually until it looks good and of course we can't always do that so what we are going to do is we're going to go for the second option and what is that to use view mode right here we didn't actually pay much attention to this view mode while we were, while we were working on other ui elements so now at the moment we have selected scale to fill so what scale to fill does is it stretches the image to all the edges of this image view and there is a reason image looks like this and let's just see what are the other options we have got so tap on this drop down menu and then the second option that we have got is aspect fit and this looks good so what aspect fit does is it stretches the image as large as possible but only inside the image view and having the right proportions like the proportions which image had when we downloaded it from the internet so whether you expand or shrink the image it's going to maintain the right proportions and that is what aspect fit does and if you select aspect fill still it's going to have the right proportions but it's going to increase its size and we have got a lot of options here just play around with it and see what each of the other option does for this image so let's just go back to aspect fit and run the app let me just select iphone 5 simulator and it's building Let's see if it worked. So this is my iPhone 5 simulator. Uh, 
and there you go we have successfully added an image to our ios app so that's it guys it's that easy so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe see you in another video if you have got any doubt in any part of video just comment down below and i'll respond to you as fast as i can so goodbye